Hey guys, welcome back. This video is going to be of the Charade Mini Machete. Uh, this one I have never used before, so I have no idea how well it's going to perform. Uh, I was able to pick it up from our uh, uh, local uh, farm store here in town. And I said this is the Charade uh, trade mini knife, a uh, mini machete. <laughs> we got John out here, so yeah, this is the mini machete. So I would uh, have to say that this this is probably still a light duty knife or machete, whatever you wanted to call it. Um, so. Uh, it is, what was it? I done forgot the measurements. I think it's a 10 inch, 9 inch. It's a 9 inch blade, 15 overall. This one uh, ran me about 15, I think, for the blades. So we're, we are getting into the more expensive knives I have. So, like I said, I've never used it before, so I have no idea how well it's going to perform, especially against the hedge, because it, uh, uh hedge, is around here some of the hardest wood that we have so let's uh let's go ahead and give it a shot let's get you over here and get you going oh All right. Oh, from the last video. All right. So, you know what? Yeah. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and try it on this one and see how it does. It's a little bit thicker than what I want to go with with this one starting out, but let's go ahead and try it. Let me get back here a little bit here. So. Careful with the camera there. Huh? I want the camera. Well, I don't have to tell you. Man, I don't know what to think of this one. Not want to go through. Dad. Yeah, Bubba. Yeah. <laughs> Put it up there on the steps. Edry is still there. Man. But yeah, like I said, this is some of the hardest wood that we have around here. Man, here, let's, let's try it on some smaller stuff. Here. This stuff's a little bit more rotten, so. Like, so. Yeah, edge, edge is still there, so. That's good. Now this, don't forget, this is still hedge, but it's very rotten. As you can tell, this stuff here is... Here. This brown wood, brown bark, the yellow core. This is only a couple years, maybe, cured, if that. This stuff here... So it's pretty well done and rotted and you can tell it's 
it's coming apart. And the core, as you can see here, it's a little bit more white. So it's uh, a little bit, it's not near as cured or treated as this other stuff is. So uh, it is going through this stuff rather well. But like I said, it is rotten. Got a little bit bigger, and I, even now, even now, I still really got to freaking hit it. still good edges still rather well and uh can we get back here a little bit more the edge is still there uh it is i don't know if it's wanting to roll or what but it's not quite as sh like up here isn't quite as sharp as what it is down here what the factory edge was so i'll have to I would, I would put this one at around like a seven or eight. Oh, no, yeah, right around seven, probably six, maybe. Definitely a smaller stuff, or at least soft wood. Um, here, let me get you up here next to the table a little bit better, so I actually, uh, so I can actually talk to you better. So. The handle, the handle is very nice, fits comfortably and everything, so, uh, I don't know, the handle, handle, like I said, it felt really good going through that stuff, uh, so the handle itself, I don't know, you can see, you see how it's got the front finger, the lead finger groove, and of course the main, so it's, actually pretty comfortable it keeps it separated keeps it locked in there helps to keep it locked in um, it does have the uh, rounded rounded upper and here oh, I don't know if I can get this on camera but here it's angled off down both sides down to I don't know what is that an inch got uh, here spacing here here so it uh uh, it does, it fits comfortably in the hand there. And I just noticed, I don't know if that was from just now or what, but the handle, there's a little tiny paper spacing right here at the top of the handle. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. But uh, I don't know if that was just from now or what. I didn't take note of that prior to. But it, uh, but it, uh, it performed a little bit better than what I was anticipating, but like I said, we deal with a lot of hedge around here, at least for burning purposes. So, um, uh, that's why I primarily do it on, uh, do these on hedge. So let's go ahead and, uh, Bubba. Uh, let's go ahead and do a strike test on this thing. So, I had to get past the paint or something. Striking very well. Bright and everything. So, it does, it does do pretty well on that. Yeah, but yeah, once you get past that uh, paint that it has on there, it'll strike it just perfectly fine. But overall, it's may or may not kind of one of my more favorites i'll have to work with it more but like i said i just recently got this a couple of three weeks ago and i haven't this is actually the first time i've used it so why are you dropping that bottle <laughs> uh so 
Uh, overall, uh, I'd have to say right around, yeah, somewhere between Whoa. six and seven. So, uh, let's go ahead and do a, do the Bible verse. No, oh, the video verse. Hey, Bubba. I know. What up? It's me. Right. Um, this one is where is going to be in Matthew as well. Uh, it is. Hold on. Uh, Matthew fifteen seventeen through twenty, along with a reference within Matthew. Um, it is, says. Don't you realize that whatever goes into the mouth passes into the stomach and is eliminated? But what comes out of the mouth comes from the heart, and this defiles a person. For from the heart comes evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, sexual immoralities, thefts, false testimonies, slander. These are the things that defile a person. But eating uh, with unwashed hands does not defile a person. Now this reverts back to what was said in Matthew, where is it at? Matthew 12, 36 and 37. It says, I tell you that on the day of judgment, people will have to account for every careless word they speak. For by your words, you will be acquitted. And by your words, you will be condemned. And that was Matthew uh, 15, 17 through 20, and Matthew 12, uh, 36 and 37. And I will see you in the next one.